Let's take up dinitrogen. These days we call nitrogen as dinitrogen when it is in the form of molecule. It is produced commercially by fractional distillation of liquid air. Liquid dinitrogen boiling point 77.2 Kelvin distill out first leaving behind liquid oxygen which are the main components of air. In laboratory we prepare by reaction of ammonium chloride and NaNO2 we get nitrogen plus 2 water plus NaCl. Ammonium nitrite on heating will also give nitrogen plus 2 water. The amount of NO and HNO3 are also formed in the reaction. These impurities can be removed by passing through aqueous sulfuric acid containing potassium dichromate. It can also be obtained by thermal decomposition of nitrogen can also be obtained by thermal decomposition of ammonium dichromate. Ammonium dichromate is orange color solid. It, on heating, it gives uh, nitrogen plus 4 water plus chromium trioxide, which is green residue, will be formed. And in this reaction, sparks are produced, which you see in the bursting of anar during Diwali. Very pure nitrogen, if we want to get, we can get it by heating sodium azide or barium azide. Barium azide is Ba and 3 whole twice will give you barium plus 3 nitrogen. Sodium azide Na and 3 on heating will give Na plus nitrogen will be formed. Properties Dinitrogen is a colorless, odorless, tasteless and non-toxic gas. But the people will die in nitrogen not because it is poisonous rather due to lack of oxygen. Nitrogen atom has two stable isotopes, nitrogen 14 and nitrogen 15. It has very low solubility in water, 23.2 cm cube per liter of water at 273 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure. It has low freezing and boiling points. Dinitrogen is inert at room temperature due to presence of nitrogen triple bond, which has high bond dissociation energy or bond dissociation enthalpy, but at high temperature, it directly combines with some of the metals to form ionic nitrides and non-metals covalent nitrides. Lithium reacts with nitrogen to form lithium nitride. Now, although nitrogen is non-supporter of combustion, but if you take burning lithium or magnesium or calcium or aluminium wire in nitrogen, it keeps on burning because they react with nitrogen to form corresponding nitride. Magnesium reacts with nitrogen to form magnesium nitride. Calcium reacts with nitrogen to form calcium nitride. Aluminium reacts with nitrogen at 800 degrees centigrade to form aluminium nitride. Calcium oxide when heated with uh, carbon or coke, it gives calcium carbide plus carbon monoxide. Calcium carbide is reacted with nitrogen at 1273 Kelvin. We get calcium cyanamide plus coke. This is called nitrolim. It is used as fertilizer. Because calcium cyanamide on hydrolysis gives calcium carbonate and ammonia. That is the reason it is used as fertilizer. When nitrogen is passed over heated mixture of alumina and carbon, aluminium nitride is formed. Air 2 3 plus 3C in the presence of nitrogen at 1273 Kelvin will give aluminium nitride plus carbon monoxide. This reaction is used for purification of bauxite ore by surplex process. Aluminium nitride will get hydrolyzed to form aluminium hydroxide plus ammonia, which on further heating at high temperature gives pure aluminum. Non-metals like boron, silicon at bright red heat also combine with nitrogen. Two boron plus nitrogen forms boron nitride. The structure of boron nitride is similar to graphite. It is also called inorganic graphite. Silicon reacts with nitrogen to form silicon nitride. Haber's process, nitrogen reacts with uh, hydrogen to, at 773 Kelvin in the presence of iron as a catalyst, molybdenum as promoter to form two moles of ammonia. Heat of formation is for minus 46.1 kilojoules per mole. It is an exothermic process which means ammonia is quite stable. Dinitrogen combines with dioxygen only at very high temperature about 2000 Kelvin because high bond dissociation energy is required to break triple bond of nitrogen and double bond of oxygen that results in the formation of nitric oxide or nitrogen monoxide. The main use of dinitrogen is in manufacture of ammonia and other industrial chemicals containing nitrogen like calcium cyanamide. It finds use, calcium cyanamide is used as fertilizer. It also finds use as an inert atmosphere is required, for example, in iron 
and steel industry inert diluent for reactive chemicals that is iron will not get oxidized in presence of nitrogen liquid nitrogen is used as refrigerant to preserve biological materials food items also in cryo surgery cryo surgery means surgery at low temperature let's take up ammonia preparation of ammonia can be done by hydrolysis of urea it will form ammonium carbonate which decomposes to form ammonia plus water plus co2 urea when treated with nitrous acid we will get nitrogen and carbon dioxide on small scale or in laboratory we can prepare ammonia by heating slate lime with ammonium chloride we will get ammonia plus water plus calcium chloride even ammonium sulfate can be treated with sodium hydroxide to give ammonia plus water plus sodium sulfate but first is the most common method of preparation of ammonia in the lab and remember ammonia gas is dried over calcium oxide because calcium oxide is basic in nature and does not react with ammonia it cannot be dried over sulfuric acid because it is basic and forms ammonium sulfate it cannot be dried over calcium chloride because it forms complex with calcium chloride it cannot be dried with p2o5 because it will form ammonium phosphate with p2o5 so calcium oxide or quick lime is used for drying ammonia on large scale ammonia can be obtained by haber's process which we have discussed in detail the optimum conditions for production of ammonia at a pressure of 200 into 10 to the power 5 pascals about 200 atmosphere temperature is approximately 700 kelvin these days we use catalyst iron oxide with small amount of k2o and aluminum oxide nitrogen from air and hydrogen obtained from the usually from heavy water plants hydrogen becomes uh, free ordinary hydrogen is set free which can be used for manufacture of ammonia this nitrogen and hydrogen is compressed at 20 million pascals or 200 atmosphere and they are fed into the catalytic chamber of aluminum oxide and potassium oxide which is already at 700 kelvin it leads to the formation of ammonia and the mixture of ammonia nitrogen and hydrogen are is compressed so that liquid ammonia is separated and nitrogen and hydrogen is recycled so that ammonia can be obtained this flow chart represents the manufacture of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen by haber's process ammonia is a colorless gas these are the properties of ammonia Ammonia is a colorless gas with pungent smell. Its freezing and boiling point are 198.4 and 239.7 Kelvin respectively. In the solid and liquid state, it is associated with intermolecular hydrogen bonding, as in case with water, and that is the reason for its higher boil boiling point and melting point, which are higher than as expected from its molecular mass. Ammonia molecule is trigonal pyramidal with nitrogen atom as the apex. bond angle is 107.8 it has sp3 hybridization bond length is 101.7 picometer there is a lone pair of electron and it acts as lewis base due to presence of lone pair of electrons ammonia when dissolved in water forming ammonium ions and oh ions and it will turn red litmus blue which shows that ammonia is weakly basic in nature it forms ammonium salts with acid with hcl ammonium chloride with h2so4 ammonium sulfate with nitric acid to form ammonium nitrate as a weak base it precipitates the hydroxides of some metals in group 3 like aluminum ferric ferrous and chromium ions for example ferric chloride reacts with ammonium hydroxide to form reddish brown precipitate of ferric hydroxide which on heating gives fe2o3 into xh2o plus ammonium chloride Zinc sulfate can also be precipitated with sodium or with ammonium hydroxide to form white precipitate of zinc hydroxide plus ammonium sulfate will be formed. The presence of lone pair of electrons on nitrogen atom of ammonia molecule makes it Lewis base. It donates a pair of electron and forms linkage that is coordinate bond with the metal ions. That is why it acts as a good ligand and form complexes with copper ion and silver ion. Copper ion reacts with ammonia to form cupramine complex or copper ammonia complex which is deep blue in coloration. Silver ion reacts with chloride ion to form white precipitate of AgCl. AgCl dissolves in ammonia forming a soluble complex AgNH3 twice Cl. 
This is colorless and soluble in water. 